Hello everyone, our today's outline is displaying JSON content. So we are going to cover is how we can work with JSON. So before displaying the content of JSON, first let us try to understand what JSON is. So JSON stands for JavaScript Object Notation. Now what is JSON? So JSON is a language which is based on JavaScript and it is platform independent that means whenever you are using this particular code it is irrespective of the operating system that you are using as well as the system that you are going to use next why we require json so we are having different different technologies different different front ends and back ends options available then why we require json so nowadays everyone wants to display their content fast they don't want more processing time and they want to load their load they want to load their data quickly so in order to reduce the processing time and in order to improve our loading of our content we require json now let us understand what json for format is so as we have seen different different things json data is also based on name value pairs or we can say it is also a key value pair now the entire json content is enclosed within the curly brackets so as you can see the example in this we are having starting and ending curly braces and inside this the content which is present it is known as your json content now one thing you can see over here whenever you are using key as a string or whenever you are using a string the keys and the string data are always enclosed within the double quotes so here you can see the region is a string as well as it is a key so we have enclosed it within a double quote then to separate the key and value we are using colon so region is separated by the value using colon and the value that we have assigned is northeast now multiple name value pairs or key value pairs can be separated using comma so here you can see the second key we have taken is employee now it is having an integer value so we haven't placed it inside the double quotes so simply we have assigned its value as 150 the third key is again amount and we have stored this value as a string so we have enclosed it within double quotes now the entire thing which is present inside this curly brackets is treated as a json object now we will see how we can read our json data so reading a json data is very simple and it is similar to that of the javascript so let us consider an example so we are considering a key which is named as cells and we want to store multiple values for that so for that we are using array so array is containing three different key value pairs the first is region second is number of employees and the third is amount so the first you can see over here is we have taken a key as a cells separated by colon and within the square bracket we have taken an array which is storing three different key value pairs why because we want to store multiple values for this particular key so the first key is region and its value is northeast the second key is employee and its value is 150 the third is amount and its value is 1 lakh 15000 similarly we have created another region which is named as southeast the number of employees are 125 and the amount is 95000 similarly we have created a third region which is named as west number of employees are 325 and the amount is 265000 now you can see over here first we have closed the square bracket and then we have closed the curly brackets now the entire this curly brackets opening and closing and the content inside this is treated as a json object and we have assigned it to a variable which is named as json object now to declare a variable we have to use a keyword which is named as var so var followed by our variable name equal and then we have assigned our json data 
now we will see practically how we can work with json file how we can read the data and how we can display the json content on our browser let us consider an example of json data so first we are specifying the document type that is html then we have taken a root tag that is html then we have taken head section inside this we have specified the title that is json object example now we are creating a body tag so we have taken a body tag inside this i have taken a header just to give a name what we are doing so we have given it name as json object example now we want to create a json object so for that we require a script tag so first we have opened our script tag now we are creating a json object so to create a json object as we have seen we require curly brackets so we have started curly brackets then we have to specify the key value pairs and the key and the values are separated using colon so let us consider that i want to create a key which is named as cells and the values for this particular cells are multiple that is depending upon the regions the cell amount or the number of employees for that cells vary so to store multiple values for a single key we have to create an array so to create an array simply we have to enclose the values within the square bracket so we have created here is a square bracket now we have to specify the different values now to specify the different values for one key we have to again take a curly brackets that means for one cells i am having three different values that is depending upon the region so again i have created another json object which is also known as nested json object so first i have created here is a region which is again treated as a key then we have specified its value that is northeast the number of employees are 150 your employees are key and 150 is its value and we have also seen that keys and the string value should always be enclosed within the double quotes so this is a numeric value so this is a numeric value so we haven't enclosed it the next key we have created is amount and the value is 115000 but i want to store this value as a string so i have enclosed it within double quotes now similarly i am creating two more regions so the second region is south east the number of employees are 125 and the amount is 95000 similarly i have created one another region that is having the value as west number of employees are 325 and the amount is 265000 now you can see over here the multiple key values are separated by comma that means this is the first value for this particular cells key this entire is the second value of my cells key and this is the third value for my key which is named as cells instead of taking single values we have also taken an array of values for a single particular key so that we have enclosed it within single opening curly bracket and closing curly bracket now we are storing this entire json object inside a variable which is named as json obj as we know this entire data is treated as an json object so we are giving it as a user friendly name that is json obj and to create a variable we have to use a keyword which is var now we have created our json object we have created a keys we have also assigned its value now we want to display the values which is stored inside this particular key so for example if i want to display the amount of this particular value so let us consider this particular entire row or we can say this entire values which is of key cells so for example if i want to display the amount as 2 lakh 65000 employees are 325 in the region as west i want to display this particular data on my browser so 
for simplicity we are creating three different variables so one variable for storing the amount one variables for storing the region and the next variable for storing the employees now the thing is how we can access the value of that particular key so to access it first we require the variable or we can say the object that we have created so the main object is json obj then we have to take our main key that is cells that means json object dot cells now as we know that array index starts from zero so this entire records will be stored at zeroth index this will be at first and this will be at second so we want to retrieve the amount at this particular index so our index value will be two and then we have to specify the key name that is emma so what it will do it will traverse like this so first it will go it, it will search for this variable if it is present then it will check for this particular key yes it is present then it will go to second index if it is present yes then it will check whether the key name amount is present or not so in our case it is present so this particular variable that is the amount will store the value 265000 now we want to store the value west to this particular variable that is the region so the access remains the same that is json obj dot cells then we have to specify the index value that is 2 now we have to replace it amount by region why because we want to store the value west similarly for storing the employees we have used json obj dot cells then we have specified the index value as 2 and the key that is employees by creating this it won't display the data just we have assigned it to our variable now in order to display the data we have to use a write function so this write function is of document so to print we have to write document dot write now we have to specify the sentence that you want to write now the write function parameter we have to enclose it within the string so i want to print that the region is the region is west but the value west is stored inside the variable that is the region so i have placed here the variable name then similarly i have written the total number of employees working are the variable name that is employee and the total amount or the amount is the amount variable then i have ended the script tag then i have ended the body tag and then i have ended the html now let us run this particular file simply right click and select the option that is open in browser so it will redirect and display the content in browser so now you can see over here that it is showing the value that is dynamic that is the value is best the number of employees are 325 and the total amount is 265000 now if i want to change that particular value for instead of index value 1 2 i want to show it 1 so simply write 1 1 and one save it simply open it in browser so now it will show you different result that is the region is southeast the total number of employees are 125 and the amount is 95000 let me show you one of the another way also so we can also use javascript to display the data so let us use an alert prompt and with the help of alert prompt we want to display the amount so alert function is available with the help of window so we can directly like alert and alert again takes the string values so we will display the amount simply right click and open it in browser browser so you can see here is an alert prompt and inside this alert prompt it is showing you the amount is 95000 whenever you will click on ok it will show you the data so in this we have seen how we can work with json data how we can create json object and how we can manipulate it so this is all about your json content thank you